opens a transparent trading area for cutting EU red tape. Europe needs reform. Hello everybody and um, welcome to my Strasbourg blog for December. It's really nice to talk to you from a very Christmassy feeling Strasbourg. It's always lovely here at Christmas actually. Maybe that's the only good thing about coming here. Um, we've had a busy session, um, been talking a lot about agriculture and about how we can improve um, how the common agricultural policy works. Now, you probably think, well, we're leaving and we won't be part of it, so does it matter? But I think it really does because whatever they do in Europe, that's our main export market and it's also our competitors in the UK. So we really do need to know how uh, farmers are going to be subsidised and funded in Europe. And not that we necessarily have to mirror or replicate it, but we have to be aware of that so that we can make sure that our own farmers are not uh, disadvantaged after Brexit. So I'm still very much part of that process. Uh, also been working again on organic farming regulations, trying to make sure that we get a deal on that very quickly, probably in January. Uh, so farming is still very much at the top of my agenda. I've also um, had great pleasure, um, part of my agenda as you know, I do a lot of work campaigning on violence against women and stopping <coughs> violence against women. And we awarded the Sakharov Prize, which is the European Parliament's Peace Prize. And it went to two incredibly brave <coughs> Yazidi women. Uh, Yazidis, you, you'll recall, are, are the Christian population that were effectively subject to genocide by ISIS in northern Iraq. And the stories that they tell and the scars, both very visible and also psychological, were so very obvious uh, when they were talking. It was really a great privilege to be part of uh, Parliament awarding them. Uh, that, that award and later today I hope to be able to meet them personally and uh, I'm looking forward to that very much. So uh, that's the main thrust of what's been happening here in Parliament. We've had some debates on Poland, uh, we've had and the situ political situation there and we've had a big debate around uh, where next for the next presidency. So in January we move into the Maltese presidency uh, they're a very small country, but they're very Anglophile, so that's good for us. So I look forward to being able to report back to you from that in January. And Merry Christmas. <laughs>